Lauren Kiana Palmer, better known as Kiki Palmer, has managed to make the transition from a child actress to a multifaceted entertainer. While she appears to be fun, bubbly, and very outspoken in front of the public eye, Kiki has struggled with several personal challenges stemming from her childhood. Before we jump into today's video, be sure to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of teriyaki beef jerky, toasted corn nuts, and butter toffee peanuts. Kiki was born on August 26, 1993, and was raised in the low-income suburb of Robbins, Illinois. Her family experienced financial difficulties, and her mom encouraged Kiki to start singing and acting as a way to pay for her college education. During a 2017 interview with Vibe magazine, Kiki revealed that a female cousin touched her inappropriately when she was a child. Kiki told the magazine that the incident led her to start watching inappropriate content when she was six. She didn't know how to deal with what happened, so she ignored it for several years, which only caused her to suffer from anxiety. She told the Chicago Defender website that at the age of eight, her classmates would viciously tease her because she had very curly hair that was hard to manage. She added that the treatment was painful and it was difficult to be targeted over something she was unable to control. Eventually, her parents moved their entire family to California so Kiki could pursue acting, and her parents carefully curated her career to protect her from the pitfalls of childhood fame. Because of the sacrifices her parents made, Kiki feels indebted to them. In a tweet, she wrote, I will work till I can't no more to assure that their sacrifices weren't in vain. The generational curses shall be overturned in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. She made her acting debut in Barbershop 2 back in business, which then led to her breakout role in Aquila and the Bee. With offers rolling in, she starred in the Disney Channel movie, Jump In. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Kiki admitted she was around substances on set at an early age, including heroin. She credits her parents' strict upbringing for helping her navigate those situations to avoid those major pitfalls. By the time she reached the age of 13, she was so insecure she wouldn't allow anyone to see her without makeup. And by the time she turned 15, she realized she was suffering from anxiety and depression. It seemed like it was me. Everything I was blaming was me. I was blaming, you know, it's me that I'm the problem. And I just, I kept thinking that I had, I kept taking ownership over anxiety and depression as opposed to, telling myself this is um, these are things that everybody go through we all have our trials and errors with different things in our lives she didn't receive the support she needed and told in style magazine's podcast that as a child entertainer your emotions are the last thing that people care about this turned her into a people pleaser as she tried to be everything that everyone wanted her to be after starring in the Nickelodeon sitcom True Jackson VP, a lot of negative feelings came to the surface. She told ET Online she felt trapped in the role, and she couldn't even leave her room without someone going up to her and calling her True Jackson. While the show helped catapult her into the spotlight, she felt like she was walking around in a SpongeBob suit that she couldn't take off. Eventually, she decided to free herself by leaving the show in 2011. The demands of the show were gone, but she fell into a deeper depression. She told Yahoo website she felt an intense amount of loneliness that she wouldn't wish on her worst enemy. The feeling was compounded by what she described as a strict upbringing. She said, It was just a sense of hopelessness as it pertains to human connection and interaction. Not only did she feel isolated from outsiders, but she had similar experiences with her family members. Kiki said they were traumatized by her fame and how people would treat them in an attempt to get closer to her. Kiki said it made her feel even more isolated because her family could relate to what they were going through, but none of them could identify with her experience as a celebrity. And then, because she was making the most money out of all of them, there was a lot of resentment. Some days, the pressure made her feel guilty enough to wish that a tragedy would allow her to take a day off from work. She said, That is literally how horrified I was and how guilty I would feel to take a break at that age. And that's something that still haunts me to this day. Dating brought a whole new level of stress into her life. At the age of 16 or 17, she started dating rapper Ben J of the New Boys. You know, that group that sings the song, You're a jerk. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. 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 <laughs>
Ben was about to turn 19 when they started dating. In an interview with Vlad TV, Ben J said their relationship could have been more serious if he were more serious about it. However, he felt like Kiki was just too young. Nobody was like young girls, you know what I'm saying, until Tiger came out the gate like, fuck. <laughs> oh, so she was what, under 18? She was under 18. I should have been like Tiger. I should have been like, I'd be thinking like, I would have had her now. <laughs> From there, she moved on with Rodney King. Can we, can we all get along? No, 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 no. Not that Rodney King, this Rodney King and Quincy Brown. She had some sort of situation with YG, which ended after YG impregnated his on-again, off-again girlfriend. She was also linked to actor Lucien Laviscount. But then she made everybody confused in 2016 when she released the music video for her song, I Don't Belong to You. At the end of the video, Kiki is seductively led into a house by Cassie. Fans wondered if the video was Kiki's way of tiptoeing out of the closet. She later told People magazine that the video represented modern women who aren't forcing themselves into boxes that are defined by today's society. She added that she was making the rules for herself. In an interview with Pride Source website, Kiki said it was easier for her to be fluid with her sexuality because she had a lot of support from her family. Next came relationships with Elvin Jackson and Stein of R&B duo May 7. But by the fall of 2020, many people assumed she and Stein were over after she revealed she was focusing on herself. She took to her Instagram to reveal that after making amends with her parents for undisclosed reasons, it helped her to realize she had a lot of things to work on in other areas of her life. Because not only has she been unforgiving to her parents, she was unforgiving to her friends and herself. She was also creating healthy boundaries and letting go of resentment by being more kind, patient, and compassionate. Although she's now in a relationship with Dalton and they share a child, Kiki still feels isolated from other people. She told Yahoo, And now I can barely connect to people, and people can barely connect to me. She finally felt compelled to open up about what she had gone through with her female cousin. By sharing that experience, she discovered that several people in her family had gone through similar experiences, including the cousin that had an inappropriate interaction with Kiki. Kiki told Vibe magazine she also had a male cousin that spent close to 10 years in jail for committing a similar act, and it really hurt her to know that her family and other black families were dealing with so much generational trauma. As she grappled with learning the truth about what other family members had been afraid to share for years, she buried herself with acting gigs and recording music. She told W Magazine that the lines got so blurred she no longer knew the difference between her personal life and her career. In 2017, she relocated from Los Angeles to Atlanta to give herself a much-needed break from the 24-7 lifestyle of the entertainment industry. Y'all, it's your girl Kiki, and I'm so excited because July As happy as she appears, she told Refinery29 website that she still experiences a lot of darkness in her life. She uses social media as a way to express herself, as it allows her to connect with people who might be feeling the same way as her. As of this video, Kiki attends therapy and uses self-reflection and self-love to get her through the tough times. Despite her challenges, she has remained resilient and determined to overcome obstacles. She's an advocate for self-love, body positivity, and mental health, using her platform to inspire and empower others.